you ever think you need therapy, maybe you just need a honey badger. What's up and welcome to another video. Today we are out at the range in Queen Valley. Hopefully the wind behind the camera isn't causing too much sound, but got one gun that I really want to review today. Bag out. We got the honey badger. Of course, as soon as I start talking, the wind starts picking up. But gun, I'm very excited about. Um, got your Trichcon ACOG on it. Um, now that these are stocks are legal again, can keep that on there. But this is a gun I am very, very excited about. It's also got Q's G Sling on it. I'm excited to shoot this one. I've had it for quite some time, but I've never shot it. Don't like to admit that, but very excited about this one. I will be reviewing the first mag through this one soon. Stay tuned. The benefits of Arizona. So, as I mentioned today, we are gonna be shooting the Honey Badger. Not a whole lot needs to be said about the Honey Badger. Um, it's a great backpack gun. Most people shoot these suppressed. After shooting this today, you see I'm doubling up on hearing protection. I'll probably wish I was shooting it suppressed as well. But I've had this gun for quite a while and really I've, I've never shot it. So today's gonna be a first mag through. Uh, I'm excited about this gun. This is the one gun that I told my wife if I ever see it in person, I'm buying it. Not really worried about the price to an extent, but I saw it, uh, it, came, it, is, it is used, came with the ACOG on it. As I'm shooting today, I do not think the ACOG is sighted in at all. One thing I'm gonna spend time on today possibly, but just playing around with it, nothing in it. Like charging handle, smooth, trigger, reset, like all around, this is an amazing gun that I am very, very excited to shoot. So let's talk no more and let's get to shooting it. This gun, like, the weight of it is amazing. It's super light. I have a Rattler as well. That's kind of the comparison to this gun. But this thing's smooth. I have no clue where I'm hitting. Can you see where I'm hitting? No. <laughs> I got no clue where I'm hitting. So we'll cite that in at another time. Right now I'm just getting the feel for it, putting some rounds through it. Let's see. Let's go for some more. finish it off this thing, this thing's smooth i think i might like the target looks like it's getting greener in the middle so this might be sided in pretty well let's finish it off and see if we make some more green That was fun. If you ever think you need therapy, maybe you just need a honey badger. But I like this gun. I like it. That's my first mag through it. Um, ran into an issue with the mag at first. I guess it was fully loaded so it wouldn't go in properly. But this is one gun I plan on getting a suppressor for. Um, and having a lot more fun with it. I was, I was just telling my buddy behind the camera that I've had it for so long, um, like I'm the kind of person when you buy something expensive, I'm like, I want to take good care of it and not abuse it. When realistically, like my staccatos, my honey badger, my rattler, my car, you pay that money so that it can be abused and hold up to it. So I'm gonna start putting a lot more rounds through this. I'm really realistically, I'm gonna start putting a lot more rounds through all my guns uh, now that I'm doing this all the time. But uh, if you've shot the Honey Badger, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts were. If you shot it suppressed and non-suppressed, let me know. Um, but I, I really like this gun. 
Um, Q did us an amazing job on all their stuff, their suppressors, everything. But uh, yeah, we got just a couple more shots through this. I'm gonna blow stuff up, see how it goes. So, thank you. It's not loud at all. Finish off our day. Gonna do things that go boom. Let's see how it turns out. So on a good note, we lived to see another day, but the Tannerite did not go boom like we wanted it to. So we're gonna have to try in another video. So to wrap up our range day with the Honey Badger, again, you can tell I probably like this gun based on our logo, the Honey Badger. I also have a honey badger tattooed on my leg that is holding a honey badger. I'll have to show you that at another time. But I really like this gun. Um, never need to worry about getting a Cerakoted. The colors are awesome on it. Uh, it's very light, very light. It's great for a backpack gun. Some people call stuff truck guns. Like anything you want to use it for. Home defense, hunting even. I know the owner of Q mentioned he uses his for hunting. But uh, this was in 300 blackout. They are coming out with a 5.56 1.223 5, 5.56. But uh, this, is, this is a great gun. Um, and I'm not just saying that because for any reason other than that it is. The trigger is great. I do like the straight trigger. I don't know if you can see that. Um, really, really like the straight triggers more than the curved triggers. That's just a preference. But all around, uh, it's a good looking gun. It's a light gun. Um, light up that B in a second. But I hope you're enjoying this kind of content. Hope you enjoy this video. Uh, I really wanted to make things go boom today but we'll have to try that another day with another gun. Ultimately, if you have the money for a gun like this, it is well worth it. It is very much worth it. Um, not saying you gotta spend crazy money on your guns, but some people enjoy this as a hobby and have the freedom to do that. Uh, at least try to get your hands on one to shoot one. I think you'll really enjoy it. With that being said, this is gonna wrap up today's video. It's gonna wrap up today's range day. Um, 25 days of December is coming up tomorrow. Is tomorrow December? December 1st? Might have another two days. Friday. Today's Thursday. Yep. Friday is December 1st. Uh, so tomorrow you'll see a Faith Friday video. But 25 days of December, let me know what you want to see. Until I see you guys next time, thank you. Stay strong. Keep the faith.